Welcome back to our channel Knowledge Hub and this is the second video in the series of IELTS reading test. In case if you didn't get a chance to watch the first one, here's the link for that. On a similar note, we are going to solve two different questions today right here with you. In case if you have any other doubts, please reach us out at our WhatsApp number 416-993-8835 and please do subscribe to our channel if you like our content. That gives us the enthusiasm to build similar more content for you. So without further ado, let's get started. Here we are on IELTS reading test 2 where we'll be doing one question set for summary completion and one for matching heading. The next two to three slides would be some facts about IELTS. If you have already seen my video one, you can skip over those. If you haven't, I would request you to have a look because that will better equip you for the IELTS reading test. Moving on. So IELTS reading test, you can expect to have three sections, 40 questions. If you're giving the academic exam, it has three paragraphs. If you're giving the general exam, it has five paragraphs and the approximate time is around one hour. The different type of questions are matching heading, true, false, fill in the blanks, sentence completion, summary completion, flow chart, and table completion. Some suggestions, always read the questions first because for straightforward answer questions, you can go to the passage and get the answer straight away. You save a lot of time. Always try to identify keywords in the passage and underline those because those could give you some guidance towards answering the questions. Focus on the starting and ending line for all the paragraphs because for matching heading questions, the first and the last line give you a lot about the themes of the passage. Again, note, this could not be the case every time, but most of the time I found this to be the case. Lastly, some questions are tricky and require an elimination process. So if the question is very difficult, it may be that the right answer is not what you have to find, but you have to eliminate the wrong options to get to the right answer. We won't be having that question in this exam, but maybe in the future videos, I'll put some of those questions in. A lot of my students ask that what is the relation between the IELTS band and the correct answers. So what I tell them is if you want to score 7.5 and above in academic, you'll have to correctly answer 33 questions at least. And in the general, you have to answer at least 36 questions complete. This is how an IELTS reading test sheet looks like. Moving on into the summary completion question, I'll follow the same approach like last time. Here's the paragraph, here are the questions and below are the options. I've only taken three questions because of time limitation, but I'll post the link to the whole exam. I'll give you two minutes to go over the paragraph and the questions and try answering the questions. Then we'll go through it together and solve it. Let's solve it together. We'll first go through the questions, then through the options, and then through the paragraph. This paragraph is about how to write a job transfer request. The reason I go through the question and options first because some of the questions 
no other option satisfied and you can spot the answer there itself obviously i won't recommend you to straight away write the answers we'll have to go through the paragraph once but let's go with the flow so if the question say to get a job with a different dash of the firm write a formal letter stating your reason so it's a different maybe wing department or branch if we go through the options option l seems to be the best fit so i'm pretty confident this would be the answer these may include professional development adjusting to a different family now different family requirement so what's the closest to that mm, hardships uh situation so i'm confused between g and e if you put anything else evidence conflict change change can also be there so c is also there so two three options that would be there leaving a stressful work environment so if somebody is in stress ill health or old, old age desire for a different type of dash or repatriation so different type of what maybe talents maybe employment maybe company uh, so again for the 15th question i'm pretty sure it's branch for 16 17 i'm confused so now i'll go to the paragraph and start reading it if you see the very first line it says if you want to transfer to a different to a division of the country in another city that's typically called a different branch so the answer to question 15 is definitely branch they say that if you want the transfer you should write a job transfer application okay and we move to the next line it says employee may seek a transfer when do they seek a transfer to undertake professional development uh, there's no question regarding that uh, to confront new challenges okay they can have new challenges to break away from tensions to cope with a change in life circumstances example family illness marriage divorce so if you come here you'll get the answer to the 16 question adjusting to a different family situation that situation can be marriage divorce birth of a child family illness so we got the answer to two questions now the third one is starting on a negative tone that leaving a stressful work environment what should a person do so if you see the immediate next line it says to recover from illness or managing aging process in this instance you may want to request reducing work hours or lighter duties to change the nature of your job and to repatriate we're seeing repatriation is here so just before that is to change the nature of your job and that means to change the type of employment you have and here you got the answer to the first question so by going through the questions you are better equipped to answer them in the paragraph as you go through again if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section and i'll answer those and this was uh, an intermediate level question uh, i'll generally expect this to be in one of the questions that you get in the ielts examination one of the paragraphs but it's good to practice similar questions now let's move on to the matching heading I'll follow the same approach on the left side is the paragraph on the right side there are the possible headings go over the headings first take some time read the paragraph you have two minutes and then we'll solve it together
So let's start solving it. Here I would suggest you to go through the paragraph first and then through the headings so that you don't force fit the headings and secondly you also eliminate any bias that can come in. So we'll start with the paragraph first. The paragraph talks about the physicist having some challenge proposal to set a maximum capacity for vehicles on the highway. So they want to set a capacity of how many vehicles can on be the highway. They argue that it may not be enough to simply limit the rate. It may be necessary to time each vehicle's entry onto a highway to coincide with the temporary drops in density. So they are saying that it's not only the limit at which they are entering, but we also need to time the vehicles when they are entering and when they are dropping off to find out exactly the uh, capacity. The aim of doing this would be to smooth out any possible fluctuations and that can trigger a change in traffic behavior and results in congestion. They further suggest that preventing breakdowns of road traffic would ultimately require implementing the radical idea. So they have an idea which is a radical idea means totally out of the box sort of an idea that has been suggested again and again. Directly regulating the speed and spacing of individual cars along a highway with central computers and sensors that communicate with each cars and brakes and engine. So what they're saying is that if we implement computers and sensors that talk to different cars, they can control the space between the cars and that can indeed help in solving solution. That's a radical idea. Now let's move on to the headings. Dramatic effects can result from small changes. This cannot be the answer because we are not talking about small changes here. We are talking about a radical idea. Two possible approaches to this problem. Yes, that could be a possibility because I have highlighted here. This is one of the approach. This is the second approach. We'll keep this in the mind for now. Our concept from one field of study was applied. There's no concept from a field of study. They haven't talked about any such thing. So this is not an answer. Our maths experiment actually reduced. There's no maths experiment we have talked about. A proposal to take control away from the driver. Well, this is a strong possibility because we are seeing directly regulating the speed using computers and sensors. So we are not relying on the drivers, we are using computer sensors. In my approach, this seems to be the best answer. However, second is a close fit. Indeed, last one was the answer. Anyone who has got is congratulations to you. This is a very tough example. Honestly, if you have solved this, then again, uh, you are on the right track. If you are not able to solve it, uh, don't, no need to feel bad. If you have any questions, you can post in the comment section. I will be happy to help you out. But again, this was a very tough question. It really comes into one of the IELTS exam. Uh, this was the approach that I would have used. One piece to note is, if the physicists were not vocal about the last approach, if they would have not talked that last approach is the radical idea that would have solved it, then I think second answer would have been the solution. But since they were very confident on the last approach, that's why I kept the last answer to be the solution for that. In the end, I would just like to say that we have provided you with the link of the complete test in the chat section. For any questions, reach us out in the comment section. If you want to join our classes, contact on our WhatsApp number 416-993-8835. And please subscribe to our channel so that we keep on posting such informational videos for you. Thank you so much.